What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica, and we are down here, girl, 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 girl. What is going on? We have our mushroom coffee. I got some cute nails. I think I'm gonna do them uh, maybe this weekend. They're so cute. They're they're cat eye, cat eye. So they're like iridescent, but like I don't know. They're cute. I got some other ones, but the brand, the first brand that I bought, I think I'm gonna if if I continue, you know, if I want to play around with it, that's the brand that I'm gonna go to because those other brands that I got, I didn't like them. They weren't um like the other ones. They were like thick like i don't know it was like they felt sturdy they didn't feel like flimsy they felt really sturdy so what's up what is going on we are down here girl um we don't have nothing to talk about i don't even know what's going on i haven't been on let's take a picture so anyways girl honey i almost cussed the people down to the jasmine brand i almost cussed y'all out today because yesterday I was on the page, you know, they had lost their Instagram page and they lost their Instagram page. And so they created another one called Jasmine brand 365. Five days ago, they stopped posting. So I guess five days ago, they got their other page back, but they didn't make an announcement on the other page. So I'm going to the page and I'm like, this, the last post is five Rick Ross. We already talked about big lemon pepper. And lo and behold, like it, it, there's other people in the comments, like, girl, where are the posts? Like, we're looking for the posts. I don't, I can't imagine that somebody would drop the ball and not tell the people to go back to the original page that was taken from IG. This is fully charged. Girl, I don't know what's going on, what is happening, but it's fully charged. So hopefully it doesn't go off. Um, crazy no audio no audio the other mic would have worked Michaela I mean Mikeisha the other day when the mic went off it would have still recorded it would have picked up from the microphone on the phone these do that this this doesn't apparently so it is what it is so let's go down so the Jasmine Brands page is back because I was like girl what is going on so So let me go to the Jasmine brand, the Jasmine brand. Okay. They're back. Um, I can't believe that anybody is criticizing a black woman for getting pregnant before marriage. <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it says rapper Callie with a message for those criticizing her for getting pregnant before marriage. It says, point of view, they mad. I'm not married before getting pregnant, but neither was they mama. Yeah, that I don't understand. Like, unwed mothers, <laughs> unwed mothers, unmarried mothers, like women who having children who aren't married is not like, it's not like she's deviating from some standard or a norm in her, even in her culture. I don't know if it's a global culture, <laughs> but there are women who, uh, millions of women who have never been married and have children. Y'all always, I was just on y'all yesterday. Y'all always want to attach somebody to another adult. You want to attach an adult to another adult legally. That makes no sense. It doesn't. I don't care what you call it. <laughs> I don't care what it's called. She said. Oh. Let's see. It says, my mama was married to my dad. She thought she ate. I mean, my mom was married to my dad, but it's not like a, he also beat her ass too. So, so what, I mean, like, what's that mean, girl? Y'all, this, this thing where y'all putting stock into something 
that really don't really mean shit is is y'all have to stop it because it's literally a programming you don't even realize that you are encouraging women to put themselves in harmful positions when you are encouraging marriage it's not some fancy dandy skittles and unicorns type of vibe y'all are really encouraging women to to participate in an institution that has historically been non-beneficial for them. It doesn't benefit them whatsoever. And you are encouraging women to do it. You have data, mm. you have anecdotal evidence, you have history, historical data, generations of data to say, hmm, I'm looking at the numbers and it doesn't seem like it's something that I'm going to participate in. You know, that board game called life. There is a part where you just, you just landing on things. You're just landing on things like that's just life. That's just what happens. You don't have to land on the marriage part. You can hopefully spin the wheel and get enough points to get past the part where you get married because eventually there's going to be within about eight years, there's going to be a divorce. There's also going to be some children. And then if you have the mind to stay with somebody just because the kids are there, then you're going to have to deal with that kind of personality. But that's that on this road of life. That is something that you do. You do not have to participate in whether you want to have a child or not. I think this idea where we have enforcers of this stuff running around women who enforce this kind of these kinds of unions and institutions because i don't know why i don't know how women are so smart and yet so dumb when it comes to this part it's like you abandon all capacity you abandon everything and i don't know i know why but i need for y'all to wake up like literally wake up sleeping beauty wake up haven't you seen the women who are trying to get divorced? So because of the dynamics of the way that women do not need men, they are likely to be in relationships where they have all their shit together. They're not looking for a man to provide them with some type of life, right? So now that that has changed, men are looking at women like, oh, the same way y'all look at the men. Oh, she got resources. Let me go extract. It's what we do. It's what we're here to do. Let me find a way to extract. Hopefully, she's dizzy. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, her head is in the cloud and there's birds whirling around her head. And hopefully, she agrees to some Bible verse that says that I'm supposed to be the head. So hopefully, hopefully, I can get her to fall in line with all that shit. And I can get close to her money. And I can get close to her resources. And she'll be so happy to have me. She'll tell the world that I'm the head of household while she passing me the debit card under the table. Anything. And I, I, I think that's something. There's a psychological conditioning that happens to where you will just keep doing it and trying to do it and trying to do it. It doesn't matter who the person is. You just pick any old body and you're just trying to trying to you actually don't have to land there. You can actually actually skip over that part because. If you haven't looked at the numbers and if you haven't looked around you, the women are saying they're opting out of it, right? They're saying, you know what? I thought I wanted to do this. Um, I was encouraged by society, culture, everybody around me encouraging me to participate in an institution that I have recognized and acknowledged and taken account of that the women don't come out well when they, when they decide they wanna leave. And the majority of them are deciding to leave for whatever reason. They have financial, uh, there's financial issues, abuse, uh, mismatch in values. Y'all don't even fucking know each other because he was your best friend after two weeks. Right. Y'all don't y'all don't y'all y'all don't even know if your fucking values align. At all, you don't know nothing about his medical history, you don't know his family, you don't know his, if his mother is off her fucking rocker, you don't know nothing. 
And then they isolate you in a way where it's me and you against the world, girl. And so they isolate you so you don't get to see that nigga's crazy ass family until it's too late, until you've legally attached yourself to him. Who does that? Like, on, I don't care what you call it. It's called marriage. But who legally attaches themselves to somebody? Let's go fill out paperwork to attach ourselves together. And when it's all said and done, because niggas change their minds, people change their minds, honey. People wake up one day and decide they don't like the person laying. I don't even like your ass. The kids are the kids are gone. <laughs> I don't like you, motherfucker. I'm ready to get up out of here. I'm out of here. Now you gotta now you gotta legally untie yourself, untether yourself to this person. Going to court instead of just being like, peace. See you later. Bye. You be better creating. Let me shut up. I have nothing to do with it. <sighs> People aren't mad you're pregnant before marriage, do you? They called out the cap rap about using men for benefits when you let one sit you down for a year. Anyways, prayers for a blessed pregnancy. Oh, because she has that. I got hoes. Might just be your nigga in different area codes. Remember? Got a white boy on my rasta. He be feeding me pasta and lobster. That's her. So pray for black marriages and single moms. We can do both. Right. You've been doing both. This idea where there's, I don't like, it's like we keep having this conversation of, yes, black people are, there are black people who are married. There are black people who are married. There are black women who get married more than once. Like this idea where, oh, she's a single mom. Nobody's going to want her. Girl, you know how many women get married twice, three times, four times? So this idea that after you have children, nobody's going to want you, that's, that's ridiculous. So if that's something you want to choose and you want to participate in, don't act like or don't feel like or don't internalize that, oh, I have a children, a child, I'm not going to be able to find a partner anymore. Your motherfucking mama got a, had a man after she got a divorce. My grandmother found a man after she got a, my mother found a, a couple of them after she got a divorce girl so the girls with children and and been married these niggas is still scooping them up trying to figure out how to siphon off of you as a matter of fact the ones with the the single ones with the children they like going after you because they feel like you might be desperate because you might have internalized what everybody else is saying that you can't get a man so hopefully if one shows up you'll take them yeah they go looking for the ones, the single mothers with the children who have who have low self-esteem and who was desperate trucking through the tundra with her goddamn staff and rod and her fuck, fucking canteen. Yeah, they looking for y'all. They especially looking for you. Don't let the smooth taste fool you out here. These niggas will gaslight the fuck out of you. So if you want to participate in that bullshit where you legally bind yourself to somebody and you think, oh, I got a kid and I'm, I, I'm not going to be able. That's a lie. It's another lie. They just lie to y'all. Stop internalizing all of this bullshit. It's a lie to get you in a position to where what? Free labor and DNA duplication. She didn't duplicate somebody's DNA. She better give the baby her last name and it better be her baby, period. That's your baby. Girl, I'm tired of saying the same shit every day. To these girls. Sweetie announces her new single, My Best. She keep trying, honey. She keep doing it, girl. Keep releasing singles. One of them, I mean, they usually hit... These people are really, like Beyonce said, they be just worried about the single. They don't really be worrying about a complete body of work. They trying to get a TikTok. Um, they trying to get a TikTok. Uh, this light is bright. A TikTok um, hit. That's what they trying to do. Yeah, that's what they trying to do. Um, Summer Walker has new music. All right, hold on. Wow. It says, oh, no, Georgia school district scrambling to fill hundreds of teacher vacancies days before the school year begins. This is Clayton County in Georgia. It says Clayton County Public Schools confirmed to Channel 2 Action News that the district currently has. 244 teacher vacancies, the district held an emergency hiring fair on Wednesday 
though it's unclear how many candidates will be selected. The first day of school is Thursday, August 1st. Staff begins their pre-planning day, days on Friday. Clayton County parents, is this concerning? I hate the kids are going to suffer, but maybe now the government will prioritize paying teachers more. I, it's not a teacher shortage, shortage. It's, it's not a teacher shortage. It's, I gotta be like Drew Zadora. Okay. It's not a teacher shortage. It's an educator exodus. See that works. See, we don't get paid enough to deal with the bullshit. These parents send to the school. Ooh, she you calling your kids bullshit to the school daily. It's not the pay, it's the parents. Right. These former teachers said, get somebody else to do it. I know that's right. I'm a senior at a Clayton County High School, and we have three principals in my four years in in my four and over. Wait, in my four years, and over half our teachers and staff leave every year. Because school is just a placeholder. Do you know that? They're not, oh, first of all, the schools, I, I don't need. I know one of the one of the things I was so excited and happy, and it's no offense, and 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 one is not better than the other, actually, but it is a little bit better. The testing scores are a little bit better, but anyways, um, in Georgia, all around the country not just Georgia, all of the states, this, the, the curriculum is old as hell. They're not even, times have, again, conserving, trying to conserve old programs and wondering why the whole country is buffering, my nigga. Because y'all are trying to run on old, conservatives are trying to conserve old programs. They're doing their best to conserve old program. So everything here, your school system is just there as a placeholder to indoctrinate your child to become a worker. That's why they don't teach them shit. That's why they don't teach them shit. Or teach them shit that's going to benefit them in real life. Nothing, nothing to prepare them for real life. You would think that they would do that. No, they want them to hopefully not go to college, hopefully start get in the workforce and stay. Can you imagine staying in the workforce for 50 something years? They get a good 50 years out of you working, 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 working until you develop some type of illness, illness, disease, disease, now you're working so that you can pay for the things that you want. And now all the th and all the programming and the propaganda is stuff. Buy this, buy this, buy, 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 buy. You need this. Your life is going to be better if you have this. Just buying shit up. Stuff. Just buying shit. G your garage look like a goddamn junkyard. Look like Sanford and Son. Yeah. Just stuff. Just stuff. Your garage is a stuff, your body's a stuff, brain's empty. But go America. Education system in the trash, healthcare system in the trash. What else? Tech, trash, environment, trash. What else you want to, what else? What other factors do you want to talk about? Women's, women's, there should not even be a conversation about women having rights. Like men need to give women rights. What the fuck? Rights? Rights? Okay. Women's rights. Let's throw that in there because that's the thing. So many areas and avenues and industries that America is behind in. Schools is one of them. They want your, they want your child to pledge allegiance to a flag, they indoctrinate your children in the public school system. That's why they don't give a fuck about paying the teachers. They don't give a fuck about the curriculum. They don't care. They don't care. This literal, I don't know any, I mean, 
I'm sure there are, but they actively are trying to kill its citizens to make its citizens ill. Like that is the whole machine of patriarchy. Just kill everybody and get them to work for you on the way to their death. Get them to make you money on the way to their death. And then when they die, they leave their children bills because they don't work, but they don't worked all their life. How the fuck you work all your life and still leave bills? This place is a fucking joke. And the circus is in town, clearly. So what do y'all think about the kids not there's no teachers. They don't want to pay the teachers because they don't care about, see, if you cared about the product, right? If you care about what you were producing, what the outcome was going to be, they don't give a fuck about the outcome. That's why they don't pay the teachers. One, first reason why they don't pay the teachers what they're supposed to pay them is because teachers are women's jobs. Those are jobs for women. Women are supposed to be teaching the children. So we're going to pay them very low wages. That's why. That's the very first reason why teachers get paid so low. That is the first reason. The second reason, they don't give a fuck about the products that what's coming out of the school. They don't care. They just want the kid there because they get paid for the kid being there. They want to make sure that the kid is not tardy. Make sure the kid is on time. That's that's indoctrinating you to work an eight hour work day. If the reading level of these children in this country is what, eighth grade? But how the fuck are they graduating high school? Because they, they don't give a fuck. Why does the food look the way it does? Why does everything have pesticides, preservatives and everything? Because they're trying to kill you. Haven't you, haven't you realized it? They don't give a fuck about your kids. Law enforcement is in on the trafficking shit. You can't, tr you can't even call the cops and trust them to go find your fucking kid. Because when they find them, they selling their asses into, into sex trafficking. How many, go, go on the fucking internet and, and Google sex trafficking, child trafficking, and law enforcement. And see how, how they got their hands dipped in it. That's why you can't find these motherfucking kids because the people who's supposed to be finding them is the one selling them. Girl, don't get me fucking started. This place is a hellhole. You talking about a shithole country, girl. All right. I said all that to say, Clayton County, get your shit together and pay them damn teachers. Everybody, the whole United American school boards, all of you, pay these damn teachers. Remember that damn smiling, maniacal freak, Betsy DeVos? Remember her ass? That, that's the kind they want to they want to dumb everybody down because then you'll go have to get you'll have to go get a job that doesn't require a lot of thinking. Right. And get get you in a job that doesn't require a lot of thinking and therefore will find you at a lower pay. Right. Like it's a whole fucking thing, bro. They don't love America does not love its citizens. It doesn't. It hates the citizens and it wants the citizens to be sick. It wants the citizens to stay in the country and never leave to feel like you to feel like I need to stay on this land because my ancestors No, your ancestors will be fucking overjoyed. If you unfucking lock that goddamn chain you have to this soil and get the fuck out. If you truly believe you are a D O S you will get the fuck up out of here. Talking about you need to stay here to do what to die some more. Anyway. Wayne Brady reflects on his year since coming out as a pansexual. It's a great change to feel. It says Wayne Brady, um, when speaking to people to promote his new show, Wayne Brady, The Family Remix, Wayne shared how, it, how good it feels to finally be himself openly. Coming out was for me. So I didn't expect any grand. It wasn't a transformation. It 
It isn't like the end of no, thank you. He told the pe publication. It's not like Beauty and the Beast where all of a sudden you're whipped and change. The change is internal and it's a great change to feel. Kudos for Wayne living in his truth. Pansexuality is a sexual or romantic or emotional attraction towards people of all genders, regardless of their sex or gender identity. Remember I told you the other day the niggas is pansexual? So now, now you know what it means. Pan means across. Just the way trans means on the other side. Pan means across. Remember the airline? Pan America, right? That means that you go across the board. So if you're pansexual, your sexuality goes across the board, right? That's why those words, you know how cis means the same side of? Pan means the other side. Tra well, across, that's what pan means. Trans means the other side. Cis means the same side. All of these words mean things. They're not just being attached to something because trying to change the, the meaning of you. It's just the scientific meaning of your whatever gender identity. That's where cis and trans comes from. So that's what those, those prefixes on words mean things. They do. They do. And it's to give a more specific description of whatever it is you're describing you know how when you're in the online and you're trying to buy something or trying to do something that has filters and you want to get to the, the the filter that has i always do five stars four and a half stars or more i always do like in the united states if i want shipping i put on my filters the more filters you put on the more specific you get to what you want to get to right your choices come down. If you put pan, that means you your choices go across the board. Right? If you put cis, that means I'm going to stay on the same side. If you put trans, I'm going to go on the other side. Just on the other side, not across, just on the other side. Come on. Stop acting slow and dumb. I, when, I cannot stand when y'all get in the comments and ask a question, you can ask your phone. You have these mobile smartphones and you dumb as rocks. And you asking questions that you already know the answer to, thinking, trying to be funny. What's sis? You know what the fuck sis is? Or maybe you don't. Maybe you wasn't in class when we was taking science and biology. So those kind of terms, you reject those terms, even though they're factual, you're rejecting the terms. Because somebody else told you that this is the only way you can describe yourself. So you roll in with that. And with new information, you reject it. Even though it gives you more of a description of who you are. No, but you stuck in a binary and you, th you think there's only two. You and somebody else. No, ma'am. There's you and a whole list of people. A spectrum of people. Newsflash. You conservative binary fool. Anywho, CrowdStrike blames a bug in a quality control process on botched update that affected airlines, banks, and hospitals. Shout out to Q. Q Delilah, he's a moderator in this community. He said that he said in the chat yesterday, why the hell are the banks and the hospitals and the damn airlines on one goddamn system that don't make sense it's the feds right banks airlines and fucking airports i mean airports hospitals and banks but why are the hospitals on the same frequency in the same server with the banks and the hospitals with the banks and the airlines why those are like major things Airlines, banks, and hospitals? That's major, bro. That's major. How are they all on the same system? It says they left a, a tweet, I guess. Our preliminary post-incident review is available at the link below. 
Details include the incident overview, remediation actions, and preliminary learnings. More to come in our full root cause analysis. Automated recovery techniques coupled with strategic service delivery partners have rapidly accelerated resolution. We can't repeat enough. We are aware of the impact and deeply sorry this occurred. We want to thank our customers and industry partners for their support and assistance following the release of a faulty content update. We know what happened and how to make sure it doesn't happen again. Stay informed with the latest news and updates on our remediation hub. What do you think? Somebody said uh, electric electronic COVID. They were testing the waters. Wouldn't be surprised if the bug happens on election day. Ooh, wouldn't that be crazy? What would y'all do? It's not changing my Outlook password. I'll wait until I'm still not changing my Outlook password. Shut up. I've always thought I've always thought he was so cute. I have. Pete Davidson admits weed is the only drug. He can't give up after going to rehab. Let's see. It says the jokester shared that while he was able to kick most of his drug use, he's chosen to continue smoking marijuana for the time being. He joked ab about the matter during an Atlantic City stop on his Pete Davidson rehab tour pa this past Sunday. The 30 year old reportedly quipped that he can't quit weed following his stay in a mental health facility facility last summer. It's all I have left, he added. I did coke, ketamine, fucking all the pills and all the shit. All I have is weed left, so it's over, but I'm holding on for a bit longer. As you may know, Pete Davidson has been honest about his struggles with substance abuse and mental health in the past. Last year, following his very public romance and subsequent split from the billionaire Skims founder Kim Kardashian, the SNL comic revealed that he enrolled himself in treatment after taking ketamine as a anesthetic every day for years. His friends at the time claimed that they were concerned for his well-being. He's always been so cute to me. His dark circles under his eyes, his full, his like bottom lip is like real full. He's always just been so cute to me. He's so young too. I didn't realize he was only 30 years old. Dang. I thought Pete Davidson was a little older than that. Well, the drugs will make you look like that girl. The drugs will make you look older than you are. Here come the potheads justifying their addiction. Alcohol is a drug too, by the way. Yeah, it's all chemicals. All of it is chemical. All of it is chemicals. Your food is a drug. You probably addicted to food, girl. Because when you eat it, it releases. Mm. So is food, honey. Because it's not a drug, moving on. The word drug denotes that it is some class two class. It's, you know, like, they have to, like, you're going to do hard time. Prescription drugs is medication. I'm not about to explain to you what Rifa is. So if you're not into plant medicine, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. We'll talk about it one day. Um, okay, so let's see. Tink shares what it was like. having to work with hit maker in the midst of their toxic relationship and breakup. I don't know why you were with DJ fun size. I have no idea why you were with young bird hit maker, whatever name he wants to go by. He's weird. Why would you, why would you be, why? I know why I don't even know why I'm asking these questions. Iggy Azalea claims ex Playboy Cardi isn't present in their son's life. I'm very much the only parent. Well, find a community of people to raise your children with. I don't know why you thought that guy was going to be any different than he is with everyone else. You thought you were going to have a different dining experience. I'm sure you thought your white skin and your floppy ass was going to have an effect on the way that he treated you. And yet it did not. When I tell you y'all be getting on these tables and these niggas still treat you like your asses are flat. It's beyond me. Y'all do a lot for these fucking dudes. Anyway, I don't know why you thought Playboy Cardi was going to be a present and attuned father. Was he a present and attuned partner? Okay. 
Well, if he wasn't a present and attuned partner, then he's not going to be a present and attuned parent. So based on the way that this country looks, where one in four children are raised in a single parent home, the likelihood of your child being raised a portion of their life without their father present is high. I've read the statistics. A lot of kids for a portion of their life live it with one parent and they're and they turn out okay. Y'all go get these sperm donors expecting that they're going to treat you different then thinking that the baby makes it better. The baby makes it worse because you're no longer focused solely on him. You are now focused on the child. Unfortunately, there are some women when the baby comes, they still don't give a fuck about the baby. They still looking at the man, hoping that the man is going to change his behavior. Who, who just broke up? The baby is on the way and they just broke up. Who is the girl that's pregnant? They just brought her and her, uh, um, Jada Chavez, future's baby mama, Lil Bow Wow's baby mama. She's having another baby with some guy. They done already broke up. Baby, baby ain't even here yet. He already, they done already broke up. If you name that baby an iteration of the of his name, I'm gonna go come and find you, Jada. Those are your babies. I it is time to, first of all, it's time to stop listening to the women who want to get you in proximity with your greatest threat and legally bind yourself to one of them. You got to stop listening to them, encouraging you to marriage, even with the numbers. Can you imagine? Would you get into a car who had a numbers, the same numbers as marriage? Would you get into a car? Huh? That only lasts eight years? Would you put, would you drive the car off the lot? They said, look at this is all the things that come with the car. You going to get in it? You still going to get in it? And drive away and expect the car to run well? They already told you everything. You still going to do it? You still going to put your money in the car? Okay. It depreciates right when it gets off the aisle. It's depreciating as it's coming down the aisle. And I do doesn't change the person. Whatever you couldn't stand about that motherfucker, it's going to be 10 times worse when you legally attach yourself to the person. Stop listening to these motherfuckers trying to get you in proximity to somebody who will eventually harm you. When somebody, when the next, the very next time somebody asks you about getting married, ask them, have they seen the intimate partner violence rates? Have you seen the intimate partner violence rates? When, oh, you getting married? Have you seen the divorce rates? Oh, girl, you're going to be, well, why would I be different when the niggas ain't? Huh? How would I have a different outcome when all the niggas are the same, girl? They all been socialized the same. Y'all trying to find the defects. Hello? Y'all trying to find the defects. Because they all socialize the same. Over and over and over. Hey, Tamar, over and over and over again. Who's another one? Jennifer William. I didn't heard the story about you and you are a disappointment. You fly ass Virgo. And you another one. Just look at anybody will do. You got you a bottom over there? And you about to pay his fucking DV motherfucking charges restitution. Are you sick? Yes, you are. You are sick. You're so sick that it, by hook or by crook, you are going to do whatever you need to do to have your fantasy wedding instead of just having a party and walking down the aisle to yourself. If you don't put a cardboard man, that cardboard man will last longer than the man you about to marry. He going to cooperate. <laughs> Jennifer Williams. I saw that damn clip of her and that man. Girl, what time is it? I gotta go. It, oh, Iggy Azalea. Girl, you a single mama. Ha, ha, girl, what? Girl. Okay. You know how many single mothers there are in the fucking United States and in the on the globe? Women have been raising their kids on their own for generations. It's, it's nothing new. It's not a phenomenon. It's not an epidemic. It's none of that. It's none of that. Because what they're telling you 
is the appropriate way to structure a family, it affects people, it negatively affects people, especially women. So women are opting out of harming themselves by way of marriage. It's a foolish thing to do. How, how in the world would you, it's a choice that you make. And if with all the evidence, you still make that choice, you still make the choice with all the evidence, the very next time somebody asks you, when are you getting married? You ask them, have they seen the intimate partner violence rates? Do you know that the closer proximity that they are to you, the more violent that they are? Do you know that? Oh, so don't tell me to partner with somebody, legally bind myself to that person when I'm looking at the numbers and it seems that they don't know how to act the closer they get to women. That it was not Wait, I, okay, 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 okay. So give me the benefit of that. Okay. Like the, that it was Tired ass, poor ass, raggedy ass, slow Ooh. ass niggas. Let's see what some of the comments say about Iggy Azalea. You're not a single parent if you're getting child support. Let's change the narrative. Single just means you're unmarried. That's all that that means. And a lot of y'all are married and single. Hello, you're married to single men. You are single mothers in your marriage. Hey, how y'all doing? I hope y'all sit down today. Get a rest, cop a squat. You wanted a street dude with a street level games. It's always cute to be a black woman until it's not. Always want the skin, but not the struggle. And when are you going to get out of thinking your skin is the struggle? It's part of the struggle. When are you going to get out of that? When are you going to earn line that shit? That your skin has nothing to do with the struggle. Stop aligning your skin tone to struggle. Maybe you'll see your way out. Girl, you pranced your way into the streets and got a street boy. Honey, it's, it's corporate niggas leaving single mothers. Y'all are so ridiculous. Corporate, you, you go and listen to these women in corporate America talk about their husbands and the things they got to deal with with their husbands, especially when they're breaking up with their husbands. They be in the lunchroom cackling and going off, talking about it. The raggedy ass, musty ass ex-husbands sending them through it. The corporate niggas do it to the street. From the corporate to the street, girl. They've all been socialized the same. I remember one time I was in a content creator's um, chat. They were having a live chat. And I was saying that all men are socialized the same. And the women attacked the fuck out of me. Honey, that was about four years ago. I wonder what the fucking tune they singing now. They all socialize the same. You're looking for the defect, sweetie. Can you imagine going to a car lot full of defects and trying to find, sitting in a car, trying to find the one that you could actually drive off, off the lot? How many cars are you going to sit in before you realize this fucking lot <laughs> ain't shit? The lot ain't shit, girl. When are you going to walk off the lot? Huh? Oh, okay. I got to go. It's eight o'clock. I don't want to read any more comments because I'm going to get mad. That's all I got to say. I'm very much a single parent. I'm the only, I'm the only. No, I mean, you could be a solo parent. Have your community. That's, that's the solution. Stop. If the person is there and wants to participate, great. But don't expect that. That You'll do so much better not expecting these men. And, and that's the way that they get out of it, really. Because they don't really care. They just need you to duplicate them. Then they could go on with their lives. As long as they know. And you didn't gave the baby a name like theirs. You didn't gave the baby their last name. Bitch, I ain't got to do it. You've done all the work. Thank you. See you later. Two fingers. Anyways, I'm out. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Protect your pussy. And don't expect nothing from these niggas. Expect, girl. Expect what? Expect what you've seen. Don't expect nothing more than what you've seen. Hello? When they tell you, when they show you who they are, believe them. How many times do you got to see it? No, you stuck in a fantasy.
seeing is not believing for you. When you see it, you actually create a fantasy in front of it and then walk towards that and then wonder why after you've walked towards the fantasy, you're in a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Take care of each other. Sweet dreams. Peace.